Hello you guys and welcome back to my walkthrough from Mass Effect 3. Today we are on to our last side mission for Tachanka before we move on to curing the genophage. I actually looked it up and uh, this is a mission where you have a limited amount of time to do it. Uh, it is a bomb on Tachanka that Cerberus has control of and we want to make sure that basically uh, you know, Cerberus does not get away with this and we need to locate the bomb and take it over or, you know, do something about it because we don't want to bomb Tachanka. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to thank you guys so much for showing the support you show for my channel and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to leave a like and comment. So for this mission, I am going to switch up uh, switch up a bit. Um, the last few missions I've been taking Javik and James and in this mission I'm going to be taking the two girls. I think they'll do good together. <laughs> now I probably do have some points to allocate for Edie as I haven't taken her on a mission in a little while. So let's make sure that uh, so that weapon that I picked up was a submachine gun. Now at least we've picked up another one. So we can go ahead and see how it compares. Um, yeah, let's put some mods on it. We'll have Edie and uh, uh, Liara take over these weapons. <laughs> So we'll use it for increased damage and also increase in rounds. I don't think the weight really matters for your, um, like your squad. So we won't worry about that. Magazine upgrade and high caliber barrel. Oh, it looks like she's... Did I have that a weapon equipped? Hmm. I must have had that weapon equipped. No, it looks like it's changing them on me. What the heck? Oh, well, we'll go with the scorpion. Um, armor piercing. And we'll go with the high caliber barrel. So let's make sure that um, Edie has the same thing equipped for her mods. Piercing and yes, okay. Now I've noticed that my reputation for this playthrough for Shepard is actually staying pretty high in the Renegade. Um, I think my like my personal walkthrough or playthrough that I did, uh, did before actually was about half and half. So it'll be interesting to see what changes. Um, it does look like, well, not for Liara, but I do have some points for Shepard and for Edie. So let me put them in for those two and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, as you can see, I actually chose to put my points into the first three ranks for Sabotage. I didn't have luck with Sabotage in Mass Effect 1, uh, and I didn't use it in Mass Effect 2, but I, I do want to try using it in this walkthrough. It's basically... Um, I mean, it's similar to AI hacking. It might be kind of like uh, mixed in with a different power. I You can, <laughs> I really think it's just AI hacking, just a different name and it also sabotages weapons as well. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Um, just remember that you can change your power powers and reset them, I believe just for Shepard um, down in the med bay. And for Edie, I put her points into Unshackled AI for her power damage in rank 4. Normandy shuttle, 
This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. To keep the Krogan from becoming a threat. Makes sense. Couldn't trust the Krogan to play nice. But right now we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Hey you guys. Let's move it, people! Take cover! Keep your heads down! So don't worry about the bombs possibly hitting you. This is amazing. This is awesome. I'm probably going to have to uh, remap my powers. We can't stay here. Uh, for like my quick buttons, just so I can use other other weapons or uh, I'm sorry, <clears throat> other powers. I'm not sure if there's any pickups. I'm guessing that there's probably nothing back there. I just don't want to miss something. We should move to cover. I know, Edie, I'm going. Once we reach the bomb, I'll need to reprogram the trigger mechanism. Copy that. No trigger, no explosion. I almost walked right by that. <laughs> Looks like we have a generator over there. There we go. You need to take that out um, so that they don't regenerate shields immediately.
Oh, apparently you cannot use your um, powers right there. Sorry, Edie. You have to agree, yes. It makes sense to plant a bomb, but it should have been taken away a while ago, you know. Cerberus is putting up a fight, but the ninth platoon is advancing, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. I'm going to deploy my turret. like the sound of that. Cerberus is leaving. That's never a good sign. You have no idea what's going on. I, I think that I might have to use a bomb. Must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. It must have been strategically placed for maximum yield. I advise peace, Commander. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. Wow. Tearing. Sorry, you guys. With Cerberus evacuating the Mm-hmm. 
They did. Oh, of course they did. <laughs> I thought that little bastard put a turret down. Looks like control schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. The original safeguards are no match for current technology. We need to hurry. Actually, uh, what I picked up could possibly be something for a side mission. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. I put my team at risk to get you here, Lieutenant. You better deliver. I know what's at stake, Commander. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. He might want to get his head down, though. Nobody gets past us. Clear? I gotta take a look around. I have a feeling I probably should have saved that. something shining right there. I just realized that my special ammo is not equipped. Okay, let's see if, um... I can take the glass out. Okay, you guys, what the fuck? He's taking fire. Protect him. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Jeez. 
I was so freaking close. Let's just say I'm not too happy right now. Protect him. I was like two seconds away from hijacking Atlas. Shatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. He should be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. I can't count the times I've watched friends risk everything for a cause. To see the Lieutenant die for us. For his platoon, it hits close to home. Winning this war will have a high price. I agree. The losses are unfortunate, Shepard. But preserving the peace between Turians and Krogan could prevent the deaths of millions. I know, Edie. But right now, I just don't give a damn about politics. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb? They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Check it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! The Reapers are out there destroying the galaxy, and you want to fight about this? Primark, you had a bomb on Tachunka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard! It's over. His own son died today making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. I 
understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. You kept this a secret and then put your son in charge? He couldn't handle it. Yes. You're right, Commander. It was a mistake not to trust you. I know that now. My son, he died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Okay, you guys. I mean, it's sad that his son had to die, but he did make that sacrifice to save the Krogan. He's a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, Trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. But not that I'm volunteering for bomb job duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. See if we have any email, which um, doesn't look like we do. Okay, you guys, so that's going to do it for this episode of my walkthrough for Mass Effect 3. In the next video, I promise we're going to Tachanka and we are going to cure the genophage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!